Oh, hi. And now you don't get game sounds either? So you missed my beautiful dissertation on the awesomeness. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, when I get an, when I get another pip down here in the corner, which you guys can't see because it's covered by my overlay, uh, I'll be eligible to choose this. Uh, and when I choose this, what we're going to find out is if the if this crossbow will duplicate, and then let me wield two crossbows, and then the rune arm. I'm gonna see if that works. We don't know yet. Okay, what's this? A docent. Um, that is an improvement over what I have. The competence bonus to uh, repair skills is nice. But we're gonna use that. Okay. I need to summon my puppy. I get my pup. All right, I need to find an actual artificer uh, trainer. Uh, one thing I did use is I had picked up a death block belt on an alt, on that other alt. So I was like, <gasps> as soon as I had to, that's one thing I really like about this game is you can share items like that. You can freely trade a lot of items in the game. They don't care. I really, really like it that way. What's going on in Discord? So we're gonna run a couple quests and see what happens. This will be fun. Ah, more noise. Say what? You're trying to use uh, rune arm with dual crossbows. Yes. So I just redid my guild buffs. So let's go down to the harbor. Don't think so. Well, Jerry wasn't sure. And the thing is, the skills seem to indicate it would work. We're going to find out. Uh, once I get the pip to see. Oh, one thing I really want to do, um, and this has been my trick for doing this, is uh, and I should have done this while I was at the bank, but I'll go to the bank over here. Um, anytime I get any sort of platinum, I throw it in the gill into my shared storage. That way, if I die, my alts have access to that money. And I just got a nice platinum boost from uh, my daily dice. So, see, this is how much uh, platinum I've earned on two characters over the past few days. That's kind of pathetic. So, um, we're going to go with, see, I knew there was a reason why I turned my phone off because you can probably hear it, um, in the background. That way my platinum is safe. Um, uh, yeah, would I get daily gold rolls because I bought the season pass back when I still had money in a job? Well, I had a question mark, so. Oh. So, 
Actually, my understanding is somebody um, wound up getting to a, a certain high level and then used uh, shards to brute force their way into level 20 through uh, repeated gold rolls and just taking the XP gems. I, I, it boggles my mind to think of how much money they spent on that. <clears throat> hey, Melanie. Welcome. Welcome. All right. Um, I'm not going to do this on Reaper. Wait a minute. Do I have the quest? Hang on. Back up. Back up. Wait. Which quest do I have? Retrieve the stolen goods. Well, we're not doing it on Reaper because we are not crazy. I will do it on Elite because I have uh, a couple of gold seals with me. Oh, type in with a brace? Ooh, never fun. And I speak from experience here because I had... Ding! I like that ding, like one of those little bells you see at hotel desks or something. And I, I love this character's name, it's Ironmongery. I thought that was a beautiful name for a Warforged. So for my hirelings, I have my dog, uh, who I've been building uh, to be a tank. Tanky tanky. Uh, I am actually a pure artificer. Uh, I have also managed to... Well, let's turn my rune arm arm. I don't like the sound of the rune arm. Um, I also have a barbarian, a bard, and a paladin running with me. So, we're gonna go see how this goes. You make your way back into house of the old warehouse. Stealth might be an asset here. Well, Stealth and I are not gonna be friends. And having all these guys set to uh, aggressive pretty much lets them find stuff and clean it out without me having to worry about it. Especially the barb. <laughs> Barb's just gonna roll and kill everything. Alright, no breakables. Let's go. Oh, what I forgot to do. Seven thousand shards. Good goddamn. Oh, I'm a warforged. Forget the plus two to con would be a good thing to have. See, I'm just letting them go kill everything for me, and then I can pick off things from a distance. Plus, I also have uh, repair. An artificer, um, hey, Ninth Pawn, how you doing? This room. You may be to fight. Oh, we're gonna fight. I mean, I, I'm using a great crossbow, which is kicking some serious booty. Though I was tempted to put the Hunter of Boxes uh, trait on my, uh, on my pup. I decided not to. RT is an arcane caster with rogue tendencies. Yeah, I do. And that's really one of the reasons why I chose uh, Artificer. Because I wanted the rogue abilities. Because I really... Because one thing I did notice... Because I'm in this really huge guild called uh, Open Guild for All. <clears throat> that's fine. I, I understood what you meant. <laughs> but it's fine. Um, and most of the people who were commenting in chat after their character had died... Uh, it was because they had uh, lost to traps. So
so I figure the rogue stuff would be wise. Uh, and I'm also really, 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 really liking being able to um, shoot things from across the map. And yes, I do go for the breakables. Because occasionally you find some good stuff. And of course, free money never hurts anybody. Strimtom uses a tank. You made a meat tank? Sweet. Yeah, Strimtom is a cool dude. I got to meet him. Because uh, he was at the uh, PAX East meetup this year. And he also got the visit to the studio like I did. So he's, he's a cool dude. Strimtom uses a tank. Or he, he's not the tank, but he uses one. A tank hireling, or am I um, am I just not paying attention? Because focusing, kind of. Okay, I'm not focusing very well. Shrines. We don't really need the shrines. So there's nothing in here, but it's nice to know where the shrines are. Somebody is not with the party. Actually, every, nobody's with... There we go. That was a little bit of lag. Oh, he runs with another player. Right. Well, sadly, I don't have another player I can run with on the regular, so... And suddenly everybody just jumps down and starts murdering things. That's so cool. Come on, everybody. What are you doing over here? Oh! Yay! Ooh, I got a blue. An outfit of healing. Well, that'll be nice to send over to a live server. Okay, so we still haven't found the th container. It's okay, I'm... Um, bearing in mind that I haven't played these quests so often that I know them back to front. So it's always still a bit of a learning process with me. It's not blue. Outfits are not as they appear. So that's not like a Cyan would be in Lotro. That's rude. He's not going for favor, he's going for Reaper points. Oh, well. I'm... At this point, I am going for favor. Because I don't think there's any way that I'm going to be able to achieve any of the Reaper bonuses. I, I mean, I, I just know myself too well. Um, and you need gear and a group to do Reaper effectively. Hi. You're only going for favorite? Yeah, so basically once I got my my one alt set to uh, the name that I wanted to show up in the Chronicle for being level 5 and surviving, um, once I've done that, uh, pretty much the only thing I'm interested in is uh, getting the, uh, you know, trying to get one of the favor rewards. So this is my four real Z character, as it were. And yes, I am the sort that wants to break 
every breakable. Why? Because it's so much fun. And plus with a character that has unlimited ammunition, because Contra Bolts. <clears throat> I'm quite happy. <coughs> Give me your treasure bags. My monk could use those. Anything warple for the win. Helm of Stunning. And I like my uh, plus three to con. I mean, my intelligence is already at 20, so I kind of don't need to boost your intelligence. Get off the crate. Thank you. Oh, is there a crate over there? There was a crate over there. I actually was enjoying in the Corthos instance, uh, or the, the landscape instance, the outdoors one, just murdering people from across the map. It was so good. <clears throat> Breaking all things, some kind of law. Yeah, it is. Always kill the shaman. I hate the kobold shamans so much. And I love the fact that my uh, Iron Defender likes to just, you know, murder everything and set them on fire. Oh, hi. Ow. Damn. Is there a trap? See a trap. That shaman. <clears throat> yeah, the wilderness adventure zone. I got the landscape. You feel there's danger. Speaking of traps. Yeah, I mean, he almost, like, put me down to half health in one shot. Oh, trap. Trap bad. Yeah. Gimme. You have recovered the stolen goods for Yay, we're finished. Right away. Now why is there something up there? I forget. Was was there like an extra chest or something? Can you hit the lever here? Oh, yeah! Oh, hang on. I remember now. Shh, shh. Don't jinx it. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah! Get off me. I remember this one. Because this one killed me on the live server. Come on up. Come on. Oh, for pity's sake. I can't search while I'm standing here. Okay. But the control panel is up there. Yeah, it goes off if you open the chest, but if I can get to the control panel. 
Oh, that's right. It doesn't go off until I open the chest. That's right. I remember that part. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Enraging Helm with spell focus. Yeah, I don't want anything that draws aggro. No, no, no. That's a bad one. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Trap parts! And I fired my rune arm twice. I know this is actually a lot of fun. And one thing I do like is the gold seal hirelings that let you uh, summon multiple hirelings in the same session, in the same adventure. Because, holy crap. Hi. Okay, let's go take a look and see what we've got. Oh, that's sexy. That is really sexy. Okay, let's go take a look and see what we are being offered. Uh, a dog collar for my pet. But my pet already has a dog collar. Let me see. He has... It's not as good, to be fair. It isn't as good, but... Um, I do like the repair lore on it. And the freaking pet has better HP than I have. <clears throat> well, why stand out of the way? I got level one pet and you can give him a collar. What? Yeah. Um, so you go to your pet character sheet and you can put a, you can even put, uh, old docents on them. You have got a level one pet and you can't give him a collar? What? But yeah, this is the, uh, the two things you can put on them. So let me think of what I got here. I mean, it would be better. So, Doug, I, I want to make sure I was understanding what you were saying earlier about that items with this scion um, ring around them, that doesn't mean that they are better than the darker blue uh, items or the green. Well, because I've been trained by Lotro to go from uh, green to blue to scion, well, to purple to scion. And just to piss off Chromite, deal. But I'm not going to use that anyway, um, because it's not good for me. Um, but that crossbow would be super sweet. Dealing damage on every hit. Mm. And it's a keen item, so uh, the base critical threat range of this weapon is doubled. So, well, you know, if you say his name three times, he shows up. Cyan has an extra... See, that's what I thought, Doug, is that Cyan is better than blue, which is better than green. Where does purple fit into it, though? Eh. Anyway, um... Plus two... That docent doesn't do me any good. That docent... Is only slight. Oh, yeah, that docent is only slightly better than the one I have now, so it doesn't do me any good either. Um, this one might be a nice choice because of the repair amplification. I 
Ah. Dead guard. Well, poison resistance doesn't really do me any good because aren't, aren't I already resistant to poison? And I totally do not want anything with intimidate. <laughs> Green decon, I. Hmm. Oh no! Shrimp Tom died? Oh no! Oh, of course. Oh. Rip Shrimp Tom. Oh man. In Eberron. Okay, so let's go back to our choices here. I'm kind of leaning toward the crossbow because that is my primary weapon. And it's a keen crossbow. I mean, it's plus three as well. So... I can't use it yet, but I will be able to use it soon. Though I do kind of like the getting a better color from my mutt. It's not that much better anyway. Um, and the repeater... I mean, the repeater would be nice, but... The, the trick I'm trying to do doesn't work with repeaters. I mean, docents would be nice as well. Um, because... And you can always use a better docent, right? So I'm going to go with the crossbow and bank it for later. I'm going to actually literally bank it for later. All right. <clears throat> do, 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 do. I don't think I'm actually going to use any of these other things though because I'm not using the I got better stuff anyway let's go let's go to the bank to the bank to the bank to the bank Vroom. and I have to say um, when I was going to the bank after every Freaking quest on Corthos. This is a lot easier now that I'm in, now that I'm in uh, Stormreach. So much easier. <coughs> uh, I'm not gonna worry about guild buffs right now. Somebody named their character Stormy Daniels. Well done, you porn star. <laughs> is I literally ran to the bank after every quest in Corthos. Because I was that paranoid about dying. Okay, let's clear the vault. You know what? I'm gonna throw that in the bank. Anything that's bound to account's gonna go in the main. Well, every one of my characters gets one of those. And all this crap. Tear standing stone games. I know it's a pain in the ass, but we really, really really would love to have wardrobe <sighs> goes in the bank found a character taking up space put this up here Should sell that. Get rid of that. Definitely get rid of that. Well, actually, no. I think um, what I was doing is waiting to see if how my plan. I have a plan. It's not a very good plan, but it's a plan. Um, Clark, why do I keep getting bullshit? Literally getting bullshit. 
<laughs> in, my, in my drops. Boots a long step. I'll save those. Uh, save that. Again, putting this in my personal bank. Well, let's put it in my main bank. That way, um, if I die, I can bring in an alt and still get that. Wand of Eagle Splendor. Well, Charisma's a dumb step for my character, so that doesn't do me any good. Camouflage. Uh, Agile Belt. Ring of Alertness. The, the arrows. Look at all the pretty gemstones. Alright. We're done. Let us go find... One, one thing I'm missing from the bankers that I'm so used to... From Lotro is the fact that you're back. Can I see if there's anything for Featherfall that's not exorbitantly priced? <sighs> well, there's a Feather Falling Cloak. But my cloak gives me a plus two to fortitude saves. Boots. Feather falling ring. Um, uh, no, that's not a clicky. This is a clicky. The scroll is. When I think uh, I'm saying clicky probably in a term that nobody else is used to using. Um, this one would actually be pretty nice. But it's minimum level 7, it's minimum level 5. I just hate not having a Featherfall item. So I am going to see if I, I'm going to get that cloak. It was 1600 because I just got like 9000. Um, so. Anytime I come across a thing where I, I probably would have died, um, you know, butt clenching moments, I'm not a fan of those. So let's let's get us a feather falling cloak. Oh, it doesn't have a buyout, peckerhead. Man, the buyouts on these are too rich for my blood. The cheapest buyout for anything is 5,000 for a level 8 item. Shit. Well, I'm gonna put the, uh, put the plat back in the bank. Cause you never know when you're gonna die. So here's how this guild runs things. Because the guild is so damn full. <coughs> anytime anybody dies, uh, they ask that you remove your character from the guild. Sixteen thousand is if I have sixteen thousand. I don't even have that in live right now. Um, wait, I need a vendor. <clears throat> just want to sell my uh... wasn't there like a vendor down here oh, I can't sell anything to the hireling vendor damn it aha 
General Supplies. Hey. Show me your wares. Okay, so we don't want to sell these just yet. Um, that I do want to sell. Eighteen plat, not bad. Pinches of fine sand. I should put all the, these. You know, I'm gonna sell. Uh, not that one. The crafting mats for... The component mats for everybody else's stuff. Okay. So. Alright. Do you want Feather Falling Boots? Yes! Are they level 4? Or what level are they? Uh, I'm on a character called Iron Mongery. Because that's such a freaking awesome name. Sweet. Minimum level one. Let me go park myself by the... By the way, the Orient Express chiming noise drives me nuts after about five minutes. Having fun today. Causing trouble. I'm going to deliberately email somebody in Russia pretty soon. Because I reached out to Master Gerhalt of Paul no Looney. Uh, because if you haven't seen their video, uh, Theoden, it's not the first video they've ever done. Um, they are masters of the Lotro music system and make really awesome videos and content for the game so i am going to reward them with a special title so i need to first of all see how many of them i have left um, wait that's the wrong one do i have 12 of them left oh hell yeah so Paul Nalooney is going to be given a special set of titles that there have been some pretty exceptional musicians in our group who have been getting the musician as a prefix or a suffix title. But exceptional performances are be, are given the performer of note title. Ponton Finberry was the first person uh, besides myself to get one. And I only got it because I was asked to test the codes. I don't actually wear it. Thank you. I see the mail. Ninth pawn. You're my favorite. <clears throat> Feather falling for the win. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Um, since I actually have two separate items that give me... Um, where is it? No. I have two separate items that give me an uh, enhancement to decrease threat uh, generated during melee damage. That wouldn't... I already have one of those. Well, you know what? Can I dual equip those? Eh. Reflex saves. Death block for the win. Boots, boots, where'd the boots go? There the boots went. Sweet. And I could put those in my bank. Bank them for later. Okay, um, let's do the thing, because I did my pips, so now I have the ability to pick this. And we are going to see what happens. It doesn't work with a great crossbow. But it's supposed to work with a heavy crossbow. That's a great one. That's a heavy crossbow. 
So the animation looks weird. Clearly looks weird. We're going to have to take a look and see how much damage I'm doing to things. Because we do have a record of what damage I was doing before. those other boots away. So we're going to need to see um, what kind of damage I'll be doing afterwards. Because I, I was asking Jerry about that earlier today and he said it should work, but hey, somebody's got a piss yellow cube. Boots go in there and we're gonna put this in there put that in there I wish you could put the starter potions of heal light wounds in there but yeah Okie dokie. Let's have a go at it and see what happens. Go find a quest to do. Somebody named their character Piddle Up the Wall. Good job, you. Locho sound filters for the win. I do like the Locho sound filters, especially when I'm streaming concerts because there's so much crap. Like the bubble pipe is like the number one thing that pisses me off. I hate the bubble pipe the sound. Uh, I hate when people use it during concerts. If they didn't use it during concerts, I wouldn't care. But they do, so I do care. Oh, my feather falling boots! Oh my god! Thank you. <coughs> I'm Doll just died, the god of horsepower. Wow. What level were they? Level four. Okay, um, so we did that quest. What's the next quest I should be doing? Uh, no. Not gonna do a large dungeon. How about you? What do you got? It's level three, and I'm level four, so this should be good. Are there any other quests that I can pick up, um, besides that? Um, that I could pick up in Stormreach that works in the Cerulean Hills. Let me go back in. Stop my counters from counting down. Because one of the things about um, <clears throat> the video is generally your quest givers are close to the the places where the quests are. There's a quest inside the hills, but that's it. Okay. Well, let's go slay things in the blue hills. Now that I have feather falling boots and I feel a little bit better about this now. <coughs> one of the things about feather falling boots is I have a very terrible fear of heights. So, anytime a character slips and looks like they're going to fall, it kind of freaks me out. So, I've got to be careful. Okay, so, let us go kill all of the things. Let's summon my other dudes. So, we got 28 minutes on them. And I just, like, generally just set them to aggro and let them have fun. 
It is pretty too. Look at the sky. I'm like one-shotting things. Okay, now let's take a look at my combat log and see what it shows that we're doing. I'm hearing like a thud thud, like two shots are going off. The animation does look janky, but I'm one-shotting dudes with a, a while well, wielding a single crossbow that had a that was set to like eight or something points of damage. Like the DPS was eight. Nash Braza and rescue the lady. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> it's been a while since I've been through here, so um, we're gonna look around, cause trouble, kill all the dudes. <coughs> I like the fact that I'm setting them on fire. Uh, that could have been a headshot. So, bearing in mind that I haven't really run through this... Yeah, midnight. Um, I was running with a great crossbow that had like um <coughs> a thirteen DPS whatevers, and then I took the point to dual wield and switched to a lesser heavy crossbow, and um, me likey. Well, about the exploring thing, there should be a map on the, the DDO wiki. It's like, I'm one-shotting stuff. Who's got a mukbane on the hardcore server? Oh, nice, Doug. I got a mukbane on the uh, the regular server. I actually got it on my uh, main. A dusty caravan blocks the road to the west. Uh, is the only way to get the Inquisitor right now is the expansion pack? I don't know. Maybe? Doug, do you know? Dare we? Yes, we dare. Hey. Don't anybody die. Maybe setting everybody on aggro might not have been the best of ideas, but don't anybody get lost. Well, apparently we found an orc camp over here, so we're going to go raid it and kill all these dudes. Hey, you drop stuff. Uh, I'm gonna take your stuff. Don't kill the dogs! Don't anybody kill the dogs. Just the tree isn't worth a $40 upgrade? Fair. Well, I mean, won't they eventually put it in the uh, DDO store, though? Ah, wrong button. Yeah, I, I seem to be doing a hell of a lot more damage than before. Oh, 
Okay, I was supposed to find and befriend the dog, so I need pork barrels, right? You want it now! Well, I hate to break it to you, but that's the expansion being on the for money store first and then stuff from it eventually going uh, into the DDO store is called return on investment. They got to get the real monies first because having folks who, you know, grind up DDO points uh, doesn't help this, the company keep the doors open. We have the same issue over on Lotro. So... Given enough fun that I have with these games, I really don't have much of a problem with um, giving the devs my money. I mean, I'm a Lotro lifer, so I spent more on the season pass. All right, anybody, anybody wanna? Everybody use the rest. Smoke them while you got them. You too, you ding dong. Affirmative. Tasty hams, that's what I need. So I need to find some tasty hams. Watch this. Stop missing. Who says barricade like the returning to the bar? Oh, I heard something dropping. Oh, that's why. Oh dear. Who done died? Oh, my pet died. Oh, how sad. Hey, would you- somebody kill that guy? I guess I will. Okay. Can you not- Give him some healing, for God's sakes. That's terrible healing. Come on. hell has got a lay on of hands. <sighs> well, that's not very helpful, is it? Okie dokie. I need to repair him. Okay, you get a repair. He's not incapacitated. Healing the pup.
Close enough. Oh, hey, there's shrines here. How nice. <gasps> Smoke cured ham! Of course, I am totally can't do anything with it. Okay, everybody. Rest shrine. Use it or lose it. Stuff. Okay, there's the pup. So, pup number two. Come on, pick it up. Wait, there was a mushroom. And I thought I looted it, but apparently I didn't. Everybody get off the damn mushroom. There we go. Okay, so there was a chest back where these guys were. I see. Glowy thing. <gasps> More smoke cured hams. This isn't helping. Wait, do the smoke cured hams work for the dogs? Or could only tasty hams work? Sweet. Only tasty ham. Well, that's a bit of a ripoff. So we need to find some tasty hams. Tough question for you is going to be where to send the tunes when the server closes. Well, for me, it's not going to be a hard question because I already have a brace of tunes on my regular server. <clears throat> now, if DDO did the Lotro thing <coughs> and allowed somebody with a name transfer in, and the person with the name on the existing server is like idle on that name for like over a year or more. Let's say even three or four years. Oh man, I'm getting my butt whomped. Maybe this wasn't such a great idea. This was not such a great idea. Hey, would you get these guys?
More smoke cured hams. Toast. Found some wolves. So, if DDO actually allowed for bouncing out of idle characters, I would probably send all of my dudes one by one to Orion and bounce out names. But since that's not going to happen, I will be sending my characters one by one. To Orion to get their stuff. Got everybody? There's the third puppy. Did I just have like a death block thing happen? Uh, people are discussing the guy who uh, used infinite gold rolls um, to get himself. Okay, speculation on another board was that the guy who made level 20, like, by doing gold rolls or, like, in, using astro shards, uh, was an exploiter, possibly? Well, that's for Standing Stone to figure out. Um.
So you can either uh, exploit to get astral shards, which exploiting bad, don't do it, uh, or you spend a shit ton of money um, for uh, in so many gold rolls. So. All right, I have unprepared spell slots. <gasps> I should prepare some spells. Let's do that while I'm here. I got spells. All right. Um. Oh yeah, I wanted to use lightning sphere. Dur. Okay. Blade of armor, contrabolt, enchant armor. <sighs> I'm actually half tempted to switch out repair light damage for uh, one of the other things, but the thing really here is having multiple heals is important. So let's see. Uh, spells, feats. Um, speaking of spells. Oh, I don't have the material components for it. Well, that doesn't help. <clears throat> well, there's nothing I can do about the extra spell slots. Because I don't have a spell for them. Alright, let's keep going. Try not to die me. One thing is I'm hearing the treasure bags drop, but I'm not hearing... Oh, there he is. They're harder to see in this dense foliage. Okay, see the orc cleric. Go get him, team. That's what barbs do. I don't care if my guys die as long as I don't. It's all good. I can just re-summon. Well, I can't do the bar because he's not a gold seal. By the way, gold seal hirelings are awesome. I, I kind of like them a lot. Okay, frenzy. Click on frenzy. Give him some heals. Oh, that's why it's not working, guys. Oh, he's a warforged. But the pally can hook him up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay. Here's where we all gonna go die. Smoke rises in the distance. You all need to act quickly to save Nash's house from the flames. So, where's the tasty hams? Was I supposed to bring them in with me, or was I would I have found them uh, somewhere in this instance?
crickets, all the crickets. All right, let's go find bad guys. There's one chest per dog near each shrine, but what I got weren't tasty hams. I got smoke cured hams. Those are it. So let me go get those real quick. It's a ham. Did you give it to the. No! Is it because that's what you said they didn't work? We're gonna let the farmhouse burn for a bit. It'll be fine. I hope. So let's go back to each of the camps we were at. So how do I use them with the dog? Uh, I talked to the dog. Please don't kill the dog. <coughs> Aha! See, I get there in the end, eventually. And hopefully nothing respawns between now and then, right? No worries, Wood. No worries at all. Had I properly uh, moused over, I would have seen it. Oh, that's nice. Why does it do that? It always drives me ban bananas. Alright, pup. Here you are. It says to bring the pups to his caravan. Uh, the last pup was in this camp, if I recall correctly. The question, that's what I thought. Stop it, people. Let me accidentally shoot the dog. That would be most unfortunate. Okay, got that. Oh, hi! That's our dinner? Well, it was your dinner. Oh, hey, I've got friends. Let's get out of here. Oh, there's the caravan. Do I have to actually go out and then go back in? Oh, one of them didn't come with me. Come on, you. Come on, come on. Yay! XP! XP good. Alright. Let's get this done.
<laughs> Death is coming. Dang it, his perished at level three. That's hilarious. <clears throat> Wait, you can keep all three dogs to help fight at the end? That would have made a lot of sense. You die, you just die like a good bard? Mm -hmm. See, you should have said that before I turned the pups in, would? I would have taken them with me uh, to fight. You never tried? No. Oh. I mean, they did actually attack that guy. Those those uh, dudes. Well, I mean, I would imagine they would do some kind of damage to the bad guys. Right? That would make sense. You don't want them to die because the dogs could die, I suppose, then, yeah. Hmm. Like, do they have, like, health bars or anything? Where are the bad guys? Okay, well, let's turn the bell. Hello, Orcs. Don't anybody let me die! I'm gonna run over here. Don't want anybody to let me die. I'm totally gonna die. Totally gonna die. Yep, totally gonna die. And I can't resummon because they're dead. Totally gonna die. This is the part where I die. Ho! There we go, first death. <sighs> so this is what it looks like when you die. True death, you are dead. The adventure is over. Oh, man. You had a feeling? Well, now we know, and knowing is half the battle. Okay. Well, let's go take a look at the leaderboards. Welcome to my collection. And comes to us all eventually. And ironically, my health is regenerating. Okay, so you're supposed to be able to talk to him and see what the leaderboards look like. Alright. Alrighty then. Yes. Do you wish to leave your guild on bad terms? No. But I still want to keep all the stuff. Well, see, I can delete the character and use the name again, but I lose all the stuff. 
For example, all the stuff I had in here that I could still use on an alt. Now to be fair, some of the stuff isn't really all that good. But I'm bummed about the feather falling boots. Mm-hmm. All this stuff is gone. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, we got other things to play with. And I hadn't actually done this quest um, on my ranger that I'm never going to touch. Besides, it's 6 o'clock, um, so we can still play uh, for about another hour. So, Gorthos again. So I'm bummed that Iron Mongery won't show. Well, let, let me just double check. Uh, I just, let me just double check. Let's make sure. I mean, that's the thing is I really like that Flame Warden. And I don't want to lose that, because if I delete that, I'm going to lose that. Uh, and the Feather Falling Boots, I could definitely reuse that on a regular server. The good thing is, if you noticed, is that I had um, put the, the Unbound Crossbow of Sexiness in my main bank before I had uh, run off, so I was smart. See, this is why you do this. All right. Anyway, um, let's go make some new toys. Well, actually, I already have new toys. Um, so Artificer was fun. So do we want to try, well... Here's the what I've already made is I could try a barbarian. Uh, I could try my tiefling scoundrel bard. And I do know that they start at uh, they start at one and if I guess if they hit fifteen then they get their gear. So So we can do uh Warforged Barb. Uh, tiefling bard, straight up fighter, cleric, ranger rogue, pally, and a favorite soul. Thing is, I really did like having the ability to detect traps. So what I would probably think about doing is, um, starting the bard for the first level, and then for my second level do rogue. To get the trapping stuff. What do you think? Doug, you're a bard. Did you multi-class into rogue or are you a pure bard?
<clears throat> what you thinking? Tomed out 34 points. Yeah, well, my bills are 34 points, too. That's why I don't actually have any drow here. I have drow on, on live. Pure bard? Nice. Um, I do have on Orion. Let me open up my spreadsheet. Because I forgot to open up my spreadsheet when my computer crashed because the uh, UPS went, went wacky. Open sesame. One thing I dislike about DDO is it messes with the brightness of my monitors, like, really badly. Um, on DDO, I, on, well, on Orion, I have just a straight up Purple Dragon Knight. Um, I've got a Drow Warlock Rogue, uh, Dragonborn Bard Rogue Fighter, Splash of Fighter, two Splashes of Rogue. I've got a Warforged Barbarian. An ASMR Druid. Um, a Ranger Rogue, which is actually the, the character that I patterned my Ranger Rogue here after. Um, and actually, when I redid my TR on my main, I made her the same basic Ranger Rogue. Because I'm seriously liking Ranger Rogue. <coughs> um, then I've got a weird-ass Paladin Ranger Artificer. It's primarily Ranger. But with a splash of Pally and two splashes of Artificer just for shits and grins. Because I was going to make that one a uh, pew pew um, crossbow. And, and now that I'm thinking about it, I didn't put the... Uh, this I made that character before Inquisitive came out. I might rebuild her. She's an ASMR as well. Um, my main is, of course, is the Wood Elf, who used to be a Corvair Elf. Then I've got uh, a Half-Elf Artificer. don't know why. Um, the only reason why I'm not going to re-roll her is she's gear storage. And she is also a character I created back when they had, like, Vet Status 3. Like, everybody could create free level 10s, and I made a whole bunch. And I re-rolled all but two of them. <laughs> um... Then I've got a Wizard Rogue, a, fav a Pure Favored Soul at 10. Um, I did make a, a, a Morning Lord, because why the hell not? So I'm kind of thinking I want to try Cleric, but I really want that Rogue level. And I got a, a Pure Sork, who's a Drow, um, a Human Monk. Uh, my Tiefling Scoundrel over on Orion is uh, six, level 16 now. She's got 15 levels of Bard and one level of Rogue. I just gave her the rogue when she dinged recently. She's also the reason why my guild on Orion got some serious renown. And then I've got a pure halfling rogue, which I haven't played. She's just storage. Anyway, kids. Uh, something. Something. Let's let's play the bard in honor of Doug Glendower. Please feel free to mock me as to how I play, because it'll be terrible. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm actually also curious how Icon- Oh! The Iconics actually start here. Interesting. Interesting. Hi. It gave me the speak to summer coroner request. Oh, she's over there. Hmm. By the way, for those who didn't know, UI layout load. Learn how to spell me. The exact UI layout commands for Locho work in DDO. Pockets has perished at level two! Oh my god! So I apparently was in jail. I had a cut. And I'm pretty sure I don't know want to know what the poop was. 
So I'm, I'm a bit puzzled by the, you know, we're, we're doing the Professor Core thing here because I haven't actually looked around here. Um, I'm a little bit puzzled about why they would give me boards um, and things. I get a sink. What do I pee in? Do I, do I just pee over here in the corner, apparently? I mean, those look like, uh, um, I mean, it kind of looks like poo, kind of looks like burlap. But these things, you could, like, fling these through the bars and hurt somebody, so that that's puzzling to me. But anyway. It does look like a nice medieval-style prison. Actually, it looks a lot more airy than most medieval prisons. I do like the windows because they're blue. Surprise! I like things that are blue. Hi, mortality. How you doing, you big lug? All right, summer, summer coroner. Is it coroner, like, you know, dead person investigator, or coroner? And that's how they do it. Well, Ninth Pawn, yeah, you you can't play that character again. Oh, I'm in the second guild. So we're on the uh, the second guild. So this guild is only level seven, but it does have a Kraken. So when they get off their butt and get to level ten, they will start doing things. I really want to get back into the main guild, though. Shush. Look at all these people. Ah, you're awake. Oi, you ain't undead, are you? Yes, I am dead. I want to go talk to this guy. Speak to me. Let's go take a look at the leaderboard. <coughs> all right. Let's see if I know any people on this list. Uh, Jeffrey and Smaug. I, I don't know them, but I've seen them around. Um... Strim Tom was on here until earlier today. So sad. Healing, I think, was somebody in our guild. Metallica. I know they are. That's a lot of names here. Anyway, let's get Jeets to shut up. Hi. If what the halfling said was true, no one but you made it to the island alive. Uh, I'm actually gonna skip to Corthos. 
for now. Didn't step right. Recovering lost him. Oh, that's bad. Here we are. So you want a weapon or not? Uh, I will take a rapier because I am a bard. Nice starter potion right off the bat. Money! Get away. Man, oh man, can't jump through there. Invisible wall! Scenario, fix this. I think, actually, Scenario might have had a hand in it. He's been standing stone for many years, but I think he's been exclusively low tro. I could be wrong, though. And he's also a really nice guy. Oh, oh, hi. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, I need to equip my weapon. Duh. Okay. Let's do the setup. As you take hold of the weapon, feeling its balance, you can't help but notice this Jeets has more he wants to say. Well, he's going to have to wait. Get a plus two Tome of Skill. Okay, and there's my two plus threes. There's my racial plus one. There's my universal plus one. Man, I'm a slow reader. Open up my Raven Loft. Raven Certificate. Black Cat Certificate. I'm actually just going to destroy the, uh, the cosmetics because um, I don't actually wear most of them anyway. <clears throat> and since they are bound to account, I can swap things around as I need to. Lesser hearts of wood are always good. Uh, that hat looks really foolish. Sharn bundle of joy. I am totally gonna wear my Sharn gear because it looks amazing. It looks amazing. I was actually tempted to use this cloak with that, but no, the Sharn, the two gear sets for Sharn are really, really good. Uh, Bloodhound, Peacock. Yeah, the Inquisitor's Mask, I, I don't honestly like most of the face headgear they have in this game. I'm gonna hang on to that. Definitely hang on to that. You too can go to Sharn and die. <clears throat> oh. Um, they can... Yeah, let's move them over into the first bag. Let's keep these all in the same place. Uh, 
Okay, so... Use my plus three Tome of Skill. Uh, even though I'm playing Bard, I do want to maximize my Rogue skills. And then another for a disabled device. It's way up in the D's. That's what she said. <clears throat> All right, and the plus two Tome of Skill is gonna go to um, search. So I should do something for perform. I'm just gonna do that with my normal stuff. Okay. I did use a, a plus eight tome uh, of supreme ability on my main. It's been a crap ton for that, so I don't have any points left. At least now my character has some damn clothes on. Alrighty, <clears throat> good to go for now. Let's go talk to Jeets. Hi. Salimus is in the grotto. I shall show you the way. I'm gonna beat up the these crates here if you don't mind, because hey, free gold, free silver, free starter potions. So I did actually run a uh, with a guild group the other day, um, and one thing I dislike about groups and why I don't do them a lot. One dude was going around and killing all the breakables. Uh, a couple of us were, but this one guy was like, if I hit a breakable and it dropped something, he would loot it. I'm like, um, can I have that warm all? Hill school's free! 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 Free from work. Um, by the way, uh, again, if you're in Lotro, tonight, starting at 8 o'clock uh, for the open mic, and then 9 o'clock for the event proper, if you go to the Green Dragon in Bywater, or just go to Bywater on Landreval, uh, the Lonely Mountain Band is hosting the 10th anniversary of Ales and Tales. No, she can... I'm gonna come up here and steal all your stuff. Okay. Um... No, I wanted this. Disable device. Menu. 
Oh man, I can't drag it? I can drag that, but I can't drag because I don't have any... <sighs> Yay! Our guild dinged to six. Night. Wait. Guild level has increased? Uh, weren't we at seven? So, am I in uh, free for all two? I'm in uh, open guild for two, or open open guild for all. Main is seventeen. Yeah, I know, Doug. The main is seventeen, but I'm not in the main. They put me in the second one. Because apparently even though they were deleting characters uh, from the main guild, um, you still wind up, uh, they were still showing at level, or at cap. Alright. Finish arpeggio. Attack. Barfeet's fascinate. Okay. This over here, put this over here, put that over there. I will be happy to deal fire damage. I'm gonna put this over here because I don't know why it does that, but it does that. Um, okay. Alrighty. Is this Salimus, the cleric you were sent to find? Who in Tiber are you? So it'd just be nice if I could get back into the main guild, but you know, it is what it is. spell temporarily prevents you from dying, though you can still suffer injuries. This effect will wear off when you leave these caves. Now, let's be about it. All I have to do is get this character up to uh, level 2. Try up that ladder. I'll here. And then I can take my level of bar or bar yeah, rogue, the other class. You hear the shuffling and wheezing of some creature coming from the corridor ahead. Well, that lever at the rear of this corridor most likely seem to be okay with a cleric Salimus is waiting Good job but no time to dawdle. We 
come to assist you. Onward to glory. Salimus isn't too hot for me. Thanks for putting in the good work. Don't you worry, Salimus. I'm here to watch your behind now. Okay, one thing I do like is having my thing up here so I can see what I'm doing to myself. Oh. Wow, I'm missing all my shots. Wait, did that just one guy just shout die? Whoa. Smack the mic. Sorry about that. Oh man, I missed. Rude. It looks like I'm going. Grab the silver key. Time to swim for the surface. Yay. I'm weary. Let's take a moment to rest. Ha, I still got plenty of stamina. I could go all night long. Why don't you sit down and rest then? Don't get yourself in trouble. Yes, don't get yourself in trouble. What I'll probably wind up doing is running uh, with a rogue, um, if I can find one, a rogue hireling. Pun slightly intended because my friend the Jungle Queen, uh, lovely streamer, uh, she and her husband are amazingly fun. Uh, her Twitter handle is rogue hireling.
Okay. So we got a bow and arrow. I'm thinking I'm going to use the bow and arrow for a bit. Simply because it will be good not to get my ass killed up close for a little bit. Till I can get some gear out of my uh, shared storage. Feel a stiff draft from somewhere in this room. Perhaps the hidden Found passage the to the village is in Go here. On, open it then. Brilliant. Tidy lasses and pints up the wazoo. Here I come. Pints up the wazoo's a beer enema does not sound like it's something right. Please come speak with me. Hi. Okay, let's go get something fun. So we can get a better rapier, actually. So let's go with that. Because I'm not proficient with that. Longsword would be nice. It does more damage. Not a phrase you should find in Storm Rage. Yeah, I know. Um, Don't tieflings get uh, racial bonuses to rapiers? It would seem more sensible to me to pick the thing that's going to give me more damage. I mean, they're both, well, a rapier is a piercing weapon. The longsword is a slashing weapon. Search spot checks, blah, blah, blah. Well, they don't have... let me see here. It doesn't show me... Anything indicating a racial bonus to either weapon? Let me go check. Uh... Let's check my feats. Racial feats. Infernal ancestry. I'm immune to fear! That's nice. Light armor, martial weapon, shield, simple weapons, combat style, single weapon fighting. Nice. And wielding only an orb, or rune armor, nothing in your offhand. Unless you start building up the tree that allows you to 
Um, do swashbuckling with a buckler. Product ballad, blah, 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 blah. So I think I'm just going to go with the long sword for now. Because um, more damage is good. Uh, has an action point to spend. And do I want to be a spell singer or a war chanter? Huh. No, swashbuckler for the win. Always swashbuckler. Uh, no, I want swashbuckler. Come here, you. Zoop. And always a big fan of the Harper agent. I have three action points remaining. One racial, what? DDO, can you actually do math? Because it said three remaining, but. It won't, oh, I don't think it'll let me. But it says one racial, one universal tree. So I'm like, oh, oh, there's three, but two of them are in the eye. I see. Uh -huh. Stepping uh -huh. out of the grotto. You find yourself in Corthos Village. The Sahuagin have threatened this place for generations. Judging from how it looks now, Here the Sahuagin are winning. However, some hopeful souls still hold out for help to arrive. Well, I definitely wouldn't want to use Harper Tree then. Beyond the, you know, the first enhancement there, because this would use, um, Intelligence modifier to hit with melee missile weapons versus, I guess, my strength. Huh. <clears throat> they have stuff in the racial tree for rapiers. See anything about it? Ah, dashing weapons. There it is. But I won't be able to get it for like another. Yeah, I won't be able to get it for another uh, level or another pip anyway. I'm going to actually spend a point there. Just want to do the, even though the spirit binder isn't useful, um, still going to do that. High mortality. Just to make sure the quest is out of my face, I don't have to worry about it. 
Okay, we are going to uh, check our spells. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, so that is a buff. Okay. All right, we are going to skip town and go to the bank. And then as soon as I go to the bank and see if there's anything fun I can use, uh, I will then kick off and I'll switch over to Phoenix and see if she's got anything interesting. Boots is the long step. Definitely when I get to level four, I want to use those. So nothing I can really use on this character at this time. Uh, let me go see if Phoenix has anything for uh, level one. Okay, ring of water, breathe. Well, that's bound to me. Oh. Level three. Level three. That would actually be a good one because it's a fortification. Wood buckler would be good. Orb would be good, actually. She could use an orb in her offhand. Minimum level one. 
why don't I give that to her? So three, it's uh, a five, it's a two. It's really nice, but I don't think she can use she, battle axe. Is not in her thing. Ooh, a rapier of healing lore. Arr. Yeah, uh, level 2200. What time is the concert? Uh, 8 p.m. server time, nibbles and knobs. That's like the open mic for about an hour. And uh, that'll be in Bywater outside the Green Dragon. Or might be in the Green Dragon. This would be good uh, once I get to level 4. So I'm going to put that in the main bank for later. Uh... Well, even though it's for martial artists, I will give her the outfit. Let me. I love that bow. Level five, level five. I hate intimidate for any character. <sighs> and I'm level two. Well, that'll be good for her. Or a scepter of fire lore. Ooh, fire spells gain five percent. Oh, 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 oh my! I'll put that in there. Large shield, no. Long sword. What's with the damn long swords? When I needed a long sword to drop, I couldn't get a damn one to drop at all. Oh, fire, uh, that sounds like a good one. A scimitar doesn't count. Goggles of accuracy would be good when she hits level two. And all the potions. Um, let's see. Resist cold. Resist acid. I never actually use tumbling. Or is this energy sonic? Potion of jumping, jumping, jumping. Alright, I don't think any of the potions are going to help. Well, they would, but yeah, I don't use them very much. Okay. So, now that we've uh, made spaces, uh, let's take some more crap out of here.
one, two, three, four. All right, that is done. I have a feeling this character will die sooner rather than later. I, I just have a feeling. These are boots I can wear. Okay, I'm apparently not proficient with orbs. Uh, hasty. That's the magnetism one. I want the acid lore one because it had the combustion thing added to it. And I can't use the goggles until I level. Okay. Um. See, the gloves of bashing don't do anything because they don't give me any additional armor rating, I don't think. Unless I'm misunderstanding this. You see what happens. Oh, I didn't want that there. I want it here. Yeah, it doesn't do anything for my armor class or my blocking or my AC, so I'll just leave that over there. These boots were made for walking. That's what they're gonna do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. I mean, I have these starter potions, uh, which I'm just going to leave down here. I don't want to necessarily dip into those until I run out of these. Bound to account crap can go in there. Bound character can go over there. Bound character. Bound character. I don't know about you, but I'm actually getting really hungry. Like, oh my god. So, it is about time for me to go make some supper because I don't want to miss the nibbles and knobs. It took me about an hour to cook supper anyway. So... We are going to call it a stream, and we'll pick up with this at another time. I'm going to take uh, just a, no, a lit, no, just a little bit of money out of the bank. Let's say a hundred plat. Let's keep it simple, stupid. Don't lose all my money. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate you all being here, uh, watching my first death. And watching to see that, yes, indeed, uh, if you have um, the Inquisitive Tree and get that second point into it, that you can do damage. So I think what my goal here is going to be is to keep playing this character just 
keep it going and see what happens. Um, I really did like the toughness of the Artificer. Uh, and also, it's, uh, it's a day one um, ability to disarm traps and whatnot. What I'm concerned about is... Not have because there is a couple of quests on Corthos that have traps in them, so I think I might want to get me a trapping, uh, a trap like a rogue for one of my hirelings, or maybe get a rogue as my hireling. Let me see what they got. Or I might just buy a gold seal. Rogue hireling. I, mean, I think I definitely would want a healing hireling as well. There's Where's the hireling dude? Like this person. So I could probably wind up getting like a barb. Uh, well, I could probably fill out uh, several of these with just silver, but you can only get one one hireling. Cause, man, I really would like the gold, the gold seal ones. But I have no shards, and I have no money to buy shards. So, whatevs. Anyway, back at the ranch. It's been a day. I fixed the toilet this morning. I, that's the first thing that I did. I was so proud of myself. But I hope you all have been having fun, been enjoying the show. Um, I should be back. Uh, I maybe will be streaming on Wednesday. I don't know for sure. Later tonight, um, Ales and Tales over on Lotro. Um, it's possible that Cordovan may be streaming on his personal channel, twitch.tv slash mockduck. Uh, he said he might... Then again, he said he was going to be streaming over the weekend on the official DDO channel, and that didn't happen either, so God only knows. Um, but definitely give him a follow for when he does actually stream. Um, and Professor Corey is back, so tomorrow afternoon the Signum U channel will fire up with the re re rambunctious Riolu, whose young son Matthias will be streaming some more Pokemon. And then he should be back teaching on one of the Lotro servers. I'm not sure which one. I don't know whether they bounce the schedule a week or um, if they just say to hell with it and skip that server and move on to the next one. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you all have fun and I will see you in the funny pages.